Let's talk weather now. Chief Meteorologist Margaret Orr is here and we're talking tropics and we're talking uh, how hot we've been. It is almost September after all. So we're at the peak of hurricane season exactly. and the peak of the summer. And we got a whole lot going on. But first, everybody is most concerned where tropical depression number nine is going to go. So here is a look. Why is it going to turn? Let me show you. What we have is depression number nine now about 240 miles west of Key West. I've circled it for you. And then you look way up here. In the Northern Plains, Upper Mississippi Valley, we have a cold front that's moving to the south, and that cold front is going to move our way, and ahead of it, southwest winds, which will help steer this system to the northeast. But there is a look, and the truth is, it's beginning to look a little better organized. The pressure is dropping the wind still 35 miles per hour. We can look back home and the weather here is pretty great right now. We did have storms earlier, some rain as well offshore. It was really Terrebonne Parish today that got pounded. Doppler indicated over four inches of rain. But we can look at what's expected and not seeing much overnight. Not seeing much in the morning. In fact, not seeing a lot tomorrow. It's only a 20% chance of rain. So let's look at one of our forecast models. Here we are with a 20% chance of rain. You're we're seeing a spin in the Gulf of Mexico, the rain mainly on the east side because we have a whole lot of dry air on the north side and the west side. As we watch it, this is going into Wednesday, 20% chance of rain for us. But look at what's heading towards Florida now. This is moving to the northeast and this model picking up on what most models are saying, taking it over towards Cross City and Lake City and then to the northeast. And if this does verify Jacksonville over towards Savannah and Charleston could get some very heavy rain. So we look at why we're going to have this turn from the north to the northeast. What we have is a high pressure ridge that's going to be building in. Remember with high pressure you've got the clockwise flow and then we have a cold front that's dipping to the south and ahead of it a southwest wind that should steer the system to the northeast. What kind of impacts will we have? Well now we have a coastal flood watch. It's going into effect Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. It's going to last until Thursday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. Basically, we've had an east wind to an east-northeast wind as forecast at times up to 20 knots, possibly a little bit higher, and certainly offshore you're going to have some stronger winds. But this is going to be pushing water on shore. So if you live outside the levee protection system, you have that risk for tides increasing about two feet. It was hot today. Got up to 95 degrees at the airport, 96 Bogalusa, 94 Slidell. Along the coast, not as hot because that's where you had the rain. It's 85 degrees now, haven't cooled off much, and east wind at 6. North shore, you're in the 70s, Mississippi Gulf Coast, near 80 degrees. So your morning lows, low 70s to near 80 degrees. Your daytime highs tomorrow, basically right there in the mid-90s. So we're looking at the tropics, Gaston, Depression 8, Depression nine that slight chance for tropical development down now down to zero along the Texas coast. This one moving off of Africa 50 percent chance but it's going to be bumping into dry air. I still think it could become Julia. Now we're looking at Gaston those winds 105 miles per hour. Depression eight may become a storm tomorrow evening. It's really nine that we're looking at that's now becoming more organized. We're seeing more convection develop. So that forecast brings it to the north, then takes it to the northeast, and then moves it well offshore. Max winds look like they'll get up to 65 miles per hour. Remember, the cone shows you where the center will be two out of three times. And in fact, the storm can be larger than the cone or outside of the cone. Forecast models take it to the northeast. And the winds, tropical force winds, right there in the Big Bend area. All right, let's look at that forecast. And here we are tomorrow afternoon, a hot day, mid 90s. Then we're looking into the week and it's going to be hot, mid 90s, slight chance of rain. You know, we're on the west side of that system. As you go into the week and a weak front gets close, a slight chance of rain, highs low to the mid 90s.